In this tutorial, we will continue where we left off from the Twixter 7 and Premiere Pro and AE 2020 Part 1 tutorial. So if you didn't see that one, please watch it first. Just a reminder, make sure to download the latest version of Twixter to follow along with this tutorial. Something else that's new in Twixter 7, only in After Effects, is this in FPS equals out FPS checkbox. So for instance, I want to render this example that was shot at 59.94 to 29.97 frames per second. I would set the in FPS equals out FPS to off and enter 59.94 FPS for the input frame rate. If I want to render at 59.94 FPS, since it's on the same input frame rate and comp, then I can leave the in FPS equals out FPS to on. This is something to keep in mind that you must check when importing Twixter v6 projects. Note, when doing just frame rate conversion like this in After Effects, the audio is also retimed properly, unlike in Premiere where you need to split them to avoid the chipmunk effect. Since we're on the subject of audio, let's see how to deal with the footage that you may have that is 25 frames per second and you want to convert it to 23.976 and keep the audio in sync. We'll go back to Premiere Pro for this and first we will interpret the footage at 23.976 by right mouse clicking on the clip and selecting Modify, Interpret Footage. We select Assume This Frame Rate and enter 23.976. Then we can right click in the project bin on the clip and make a new sequence from clip. We can go to the sequence settings to verify the new frame rate. We can also make sure the timeline is in frame numbers instead of time code so it's easy to check the frame numbers. Now we can right mouse click on the clip and select Unlink to unlink the video from the audio. Next, we can apply Twixter to the video clip and make the speed percentage 104.27%. Now the clip will be too long with the last frame repeating. We will address that in a minute after we sync the audio. We can duplicate the original sequence in the bin and interpret footage for this duplicate and set it back to the original 25 frames per second. We can add it to the timeline and unlink the video and audio tracks. We're going to delete the audio for the Twixtured clip and then add this original audio and right mouse click and select Clip Speed Duration and enter the same percentage we used for the video, 104.27%. Now we can shorten the video to match the audio. There you go. Okay, another new thing to Twixter is that we now have a 360 checkbox, so the retiming does the proper wrapping horizontally and vertically. Let's check out something new in Twixter Pro. I can add Twixter Pro to this clip. Here in the track controls, we now have a checkbox for RGBA. This is for clips that have an alpha. Example, maybe you keyed before retiming. This will produce a substantially better result with faster moving objects as the valid pixels where the alpha is not zero will not keep the foreground object from moving. This was part two of some of the new features in Twixter 7 running on Premiere Pro and After Effects 2020. Please watch some of the other Twixter tutorials for general usage of Twixter.